Hi, I'm Marina Kamblau from MD Anderson Cancer Center. Uh, I'll be talking today about the, our uh, institutional clinical trial with the 10 day decidabin and venetoclax uh, that we are presenting at the ESCO 2020. Uh, this was an investigator initiated trial uh, that included newly diagnosed uh, and relapsed the acute myeloid leukemia over the age of uh, 65. There was also a cohort of uh, relapsed refractory MDS, but we only included 13 patients uh, um, in that cohort. Uh, the results that we're presenting show very high response rate, uh, in particularly in the newly diagnosed, uh, previously untreated acute myeloid leukemia. It's uh, notable that the median age of 72 years old, so these were truly elderly patients, uh, and 63% of those had uh, ELN adverse uh, uh, risk uh, features, with 30% having TB53 mutation, uh, which is also a known negative prognostic factor. Amongst the patients with uh, newly diagnosed acute myeloid leukemia, we treated 70 patients. Uh, and the response rates were 66% uh, complete remission rates with 84% of complete remission uh, plus complete remission with incomplete count recovery, so-called uh, CRI. Uh, so this is uh, clearly a uh, very high response rate, especially in this elder, older patient population. And the early mortality uh, on that treatment uh, within the first 30 days was only 3%. Uh, um, uh, notably that uh, the overall survival in the newly diagnosed patients was uh, a median of 18 months so with the uh, median follow-up uh, time at this point of uh, 15 months. Again, uh, this is uh, quite spectacular that uh, patients over the age of 70 with acute myeloid leukemia um, can now survive uh, uh, one half years on average, and uh, there appears to be a plateau. Of course, we need longer follow-up to see how these patients are doing. Uh, the results in uh, previously treated uh, uh, acute myeloid leukemia or relapse refractory cohort uh, were not as uh, impressive with the response rate of about 40%. Uh, um, also, in the newly diagnosed patients who had a prior diagnosis of MDS, so-called secondary AML, or patients who have had therapy for the MDS, what we call tr uh, treated secondary um, AML, uh, the response rates were uh, still uh, fairly high in the range of 67% uh, for those who were untreated and 39% uh, for the treated ones. Uh, uh, but the median overall survival uh, was uh, uh, fairly short in the range of, range of six to eight months. Uh, so in the study, we identified uh, mainly that newly diagnosed AML without preceding MDS are doing uh, um, significantly better. Uh, we also had a small cohort of patients who were able to undergo stem cell transplantation. So from the newly diagnosed patients, uh, uh, we had 12 that underwent allergen stem cell transplantation. And from the relapse refractory cohort, uh, we enrolled 11 patients. In the newly diagnosed patients, the median overall survival was not reached. Uh, and in the relapse refractory cohort right now, its median survival is uh, 22 months. Uh, so this appears to be also uh, quite impressive uh, results. Again, the patient numbers are still quite small. Um, the early mortality after transplant was only 4%. Uh, so the preceding uh, treatment did not influence uh, the um, side effects from the stem cell transplant. Uh, so we feel that at least for the relapse refractory cohort, this regimen provides effective what we call bridge to the transplant, where they're able to get a, a remission uh, in the first or second cycle and then undergo uh, potentially curative uh, stem cell transplantation. Again, we need longer follow-up and more patients to um, support uh, these findings. Uh, um, I, I wouldn't uh, talk much about the relapsed uh, MDS cohort because we only enrolled 30, 13 patients. Uh, about 20% uh, um, of uh, CR uh, rates, uh, so not uh, as... Uh, um, great as we would like them to see. Uh, but uh, again, I think this is a very small cohort and uh, uh, we're mainly focusing on acute myeloid leukemia in this study. So overall, the conclusions from our clinical trial was that with the standard uh, decidabin regimen, 
uh, we were able to achieve very high response rates, uh, which appear to be higher than what previously reported five days to Cytopin and Benetoclax regimen, um, with a uh, significant uh, extension of uh, survival, especially in the newly diagnosed acute myeloid leukemia and the patients who were able to proceed to stem cell transplantation. Uh, this regimen was uh, quite safe, uh, again, with all precautions uh, um, in our institution with the admissions and uh, uh, prophylactic with the antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral uh, as, uh, as a standard at MD Anderson. Um, and uh, so we continue to enroll in this clinical trial and we will be updating the results in the next meetings.